Hi there, I'm Chris from Focus Right Innovation. I'm here with um, uh, BPM 2013. We've got some fantastic new products on our stand here. Um, so I'm going to give you a quick demonstration um, for DJ Kit TV. So, uh, a couple of weeks ago we've announced uh, three new products to uh, fit into the launch family. And the launch family basically now consists of the launch key keyboards, launch pad S, we now have the brand new launch control which is 16 encoders uh, to control your uh, software or even your iPad software as well. Uh, with launch control, as I say, 16 encoders, 8, uh, eight button controls and 4 function controls as well. Here I've got it actually set up with Ableton. Um, brilliant little uh, controller for Ableton, perfect match to go alongside your Launchpad S or Launchpad Mini as well. Um, we have three sp specific templates for, uh, for Ableton, we have one, two and three. We're currently set to factory template number one and this is going to give me uh, control over my mixers. So here I'm controlling my send effects. If I use the down arrow here I'll be able to control sends A and B as well. And if I press the up arrow I now have instant control over my volume and pan controls here as well. If I use the um, uh, Factory 3 template, so I move over to Factory 3, my function buttons now allow me to move between the different channels here. So I'm going to go over to Channel 1, I press the down arrow, and now I can access my devices. And this is absolutely brilliant because now I can use the down arrow to move between the devices. So I use up and down to move between the devices, and I've now got instant takeover over my different parameters on the, um, on the actual plugins themselves. If I move up again, I'll move to my chorus control here, and now I have control over the parameters on the chorus. Move across again, and now I've got control over my uh, different uh, parameters on the, um, on the compressor. So we've got a really nice deep level of control with Ableton, but alongside that, this is a, a great little controller for FL Studio. But as we've got, you know, sort of uh, completely, um, uh, well, these are sending out CC messages, so anything that we can map to, this is a perfect control for. So as I mentioned, we've got factory templates here, which are kind of preset templates. We also have eight user templates, which we can configure ourselves as well. So if we account the uh, 16 controls, eight pads, and the device, uh, the function buttons here, we have a total of 448 different things, parameters that we can actually control from this little box. And as I say, it's a lovely little combination to go with things like Launchpad S, Launchpad Mini, or, or any of our launch products, basically. So that's launch control. Here's Launchpad S as well, of course, uh, um, you know, a, a favoured controller for Ableton, but also we now have uh, FL Studio stickers in the box as well, so it's a great controller for FL Studio. Uh, Launchpad S um, takes the functionality of the original Launchpad and has brought it up to date with a lot brighter LED functionality and a lot faster as well. So if we move around the corner over here, we can see two of the new products as well that we've also recently announced. We have Launchpad Mini and we have the Launch Key Mini as well. So as you can see, we're sort of building up this nice little ecosystem of different products. I have at present the Launchpad Mini and Launch Key Mini actually plugged into our iPad apps, of which we have two. We have the Launchpad and Launch Key apps. These are freely available um, off the App Store. Uh, so if you've got an iPad, go ahead and download them. And the great thing about our hardware is that all of the hardware we've seen is completely bus powered from, uh, uh, from iPad or obviously from your PC or Mac computer as well. So if we look at Launchpad Mini, what we've got here is a, a lovely little controller for the Launchpad app itself. We have access to all six rows of the uh, samples, so we can trigger these as if we, you know, it's just it's a nice piece of hardware control to trigger those. I also have access to my effects control on the bottom two rows, so I can actually use this to do filter sweeps, stuttering effects and that sort of thing as well. So this is a perfect way of controlling the Launchpad app. One thing I should say about the Launchpad app as well is that we now have various different sound packs which are available for you to buy as well uh, from the App Store. Um, on the home page here, we've got a couple of them loaded in, and so you know we have some of the new uh, new uh, sound packs available uh, to demo here at uh, BPM as well. Let's have a look at the Launch Key Mini now. Launch Key is a great little controller. Again, completely bus powered. It's basically a take anywhere controller. We've got eight low profile encoders, so they can get, uh, so you can put it nicely in and out of your laptop bag without getting these snagged as on the on the way in or on the way out. We have 16 velocity sensitive pads as well, and again, we can we're perfectly at home in controlling the uh, iPad apps, or in fact, these could be used to launch clips in Ableton um, or for finger drumming or that sort of thing as well. Um, with the uh, pads as well, if I press, um, I, yeah, we have two uh, controls here. 
So if I press this button, this will take me to my volume controls, uh, specifically in the Launchpad app. And now I can use this to control volume fades. If I press the button again, now it's disconnected from the volume, but it's actually now controlling my filters effects. If I press this button, once again, I'm getting taken to my uh, effects. So we've got stuttering effects and filter effects available as well. If I press the track button here, that's this one, this will now take me through to the launch key app. So we can actually use the track buttons to flip nice and easily between the two apps. Um, when we move to launch key, uh, the, the app itself, the actual launch key hardware will now focus on that. And what we have here is we have um, uh, presets, uh, favorite presets that we can move between. We can use the up and down arrow to move between the actual list of presets as well. And now with the encoders, we have total control over the actual uh, parameters within the software as well. So Launch Key Mini is the sort of perfect controller for both apps, but as I say, it's perfectly at home with controlling your software as well. Um, they're all called MIDI compliant as well, so it's just it's basically plug and play, um, and perfectly controlling your, your software as well. So there we have uh, the three new products um, from Novation at BPM 2013. Um, they're going to be available in store soon, so uh, yeah, so have a look at the DJ Kit TV uh, website uh, for further details.